that energy is extremely important to our everyday lives, and I believe we're very reliant on it. It provides the value of our lives, it really does. Everything we do, from our entertainment, to our work, to our safety. When my kids were little, I drove them down to the Hunter Power Plants. I said, every time you turn on the lights, this is what's going on. This is what's happening. This is where this electricity is coming from. My first memory of energy is when my uh, neighbor and I would uh, get our roller skates on, the old middle wheeled kind, grab an old uh, bed sheet, and we'd get out there and we'd let the wind blow us toward the north, and that happened several times each spring, and we just loved that. And that's when I first thought, well, there's something going on that I can convert to something useful. The Clean Cities um, came into being in 1993. When we started the program, we were dependent on foreign oil by 64%. And as of now, we're dependent on foreign oil by 20%. So the 100 Clean Cities have made a huge impact throughout the nation on our energy independence. The reason that I ended up at Flying J in my role that I'm still in today was our bankruptcy in December of 2008. And that is when all of a sudden I was all in. My dad had a lot of integrity. I was raised with a lot of integrity. And I just felt like a wrong had been done and we needed to make it right. And I believed we had the business to make that happen. I was fortunate enough that when Canyon School District was forming and the gentleman who supported me at Granite uh, put in a good word, I was able to get in and become their energy specialist. When it was all said and done, um, after about 2014, 2015, we had reduced our energy consumption by 43% in seven or eight years. It's been really fun. Five really strong, great businesses, all developed, all headquartered right here in Utah. We've moved uh, hundreds of people into Utah that are still here today, great professionals that have helped make our state stronger and better. And, and uh, I've had fun every day of my life. When I wound up uh, being in charge of safety at Rocky Mountain Power, we went from having an okay uh, safety record to the uh, Edison Electric Institute recognized us as having the lowest recordable incident rate in the industry uh, not too many years after that. I got involved with the Intermountain Consumer Power Association in 1979. That's where it really clicked on me, uh, the, uh, the value and the importance of energy in these communities. People are going to want to move places, and we, we transport people, essentially. And so I think the message really is that our business still has a bright future. I guess the biggest statement that I always like to make is if you act locally, it impacts globally. Anyone and everyone can do something in the energy field and especially in the efficiency of transportation. By reducing their idling, they can do that right now. And they can say that they're part of the solution. And that, that to me is a very big thing. The whole world is really changing and the way we look at things are changing and it's a great place to work, great place to be. If you're going to be in it, just be flexible and plan on having over your career, you may look at things very, very differently and have a lot of fun opportunities to do different things.